Hey, Sojourn Montrose, thank you for joining us. Um, we know that this is, this is different and that life has changed for you guys. It's changed for us and it's changed for millions of people in America and around the globe. Um, and Sojourn Montrose as a church has to adapt to our new climate. We don't know exactly how long this is going to be in effect for Houston or America, um, but we know the church, as we've said, is a people to belong to, not an event to attend. So we will continue to be a people and adapt through this. Um, but all of your elders sit here today because we want to walk you through some of the changes in what Sojourn Montrose life will look like as we adapt and change uh, to meet our society's new expectations. Yeah, so first um, I'm going to talk about what will Sunday mornings look like. Obviously, Sunday gatherings um, with the whole congregation have been canceled until uh, we receive notice from the CDC and local government that it's safe again to gather. Um, but that doesn't mean we will abandon Sunday mornings altogether. Um, we will continue to have an at-home liturgy provided for uh, you to go through with your families, or if you want to do a Zoom or Skype call with people in your parish to walk through that together, to sing and pray and read together. We'll also have a live element of that, like we did last week, where one of our pastors will be on YouTube Live greeting you, praying for you, and giving some updates about what's been going on in our communities, potential ways to serve or give, or members who might have uh, needs that they've expressed and ways to meet those needs. Um, furthermore, we will have a pre-recorded video teaching available from a pastor from any one of our Sojourn Houston congregations. Uh, we will be moving away from our current sermon series and diving into something that's a little more applicable to what we're experiencing uh, with this pandemic. Um, but we will be emailing out details on how to engage with all of that later this week. Yeah, so as far as our parish gatherings, the same thing is true. Um, we're canceling those. All of those are larger than 10 people. And so uh, based on our federal government's recommendations, we're gonna go ahead and cancel those as well. Um, we'd encourage you though to still find uh, creative ways to interact. So there's a number of ways that you can do that. Um, you could use video, uh, just like we're doing for uh, some of our uh, communication throughout the week here. Um, whether it's Zoom or Google Hangout or FaceTime allows you to do group calls as well. We'd encourage you to do that. Um, and really, ultimately, what we're trying to do in that is not only keep communication, but to care for one another um, in the ways that we're able to and to keep eyes um, on one another through this season. Um, with regards to renewal groups, those technically fall within the CDC limits, and so um, you're welcome to meet in them if you'd like, but we'd encourage you again just to be smart. Uh, the reality is um, that we should try to curb all non-essential gatherings for the sake uh, of our neighbors and for the sake of our, our country as we try to mitigate the spread of this virus. Another thing we'll be doing just to help everybody stay connected and plugged in to uh, what's going on is we'll be sending out a weekly uh, video every Wednesday. It'll be one or two pastors just with a short message, giving you updates, logistical updates, anything from a scheduling standpoint that's new. Uh, we'll share some encouragement from the Bible, walk through some verses that we've been reading through that will be particularly applicable to this situation, and then talk through some of the things that we as elders have been praying for for our congregation uh, and even share prayer requests with you guys to be praying for us. And the final thing we're doing is we are inviting everybody at our church and some of the people who have been coming around onto a communication platform called Slack. Many of you are familiar with Slack at, in your business or place of work. Um, and Slack, we've found as a staff for years, has just been a great way to communicate with each other um, through the web. And so we are extending and opening that invitation um, for Sojourn Montrose to all be on a Slack um, platform together. There's a little bit of a learning curve, um, but you will get an invite code today for Slack. We invite you to come ahead, go ahead and just um, set up your profile and begin communicating. And I think you'll find over time as we kind of learn this together that Slack is going to make it a lot easier for us to communicate um, with you, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to communicate with one another and with us, and I think we'll be able to share needs and prayer a lot simpler and quicker than we ever have before. We know this is a, a ton of change for one week. However, this time last week, we weren't preparing any of this, and neither were you, uh, for, for a global pandemic of this nature. 
Um, so we really thank you for your flexibility. We thank you for your patience. We encourage you to work together to care for people in your parishes, care for people in your neighborhood, uh, your local little area of Montrose or wherever you might live. Um, we are the church and we have been called together to care for um, our neighbors. And beyond meeting their material needs, we want to encourage you to our main call to make disciples of Jesus. We have a, a Lord and Savior who is the God of rest. He's a God of peace. And so in a time of heightened anxiety and fear, we have a message that is worth delivering. So I want to encourage you to do that. Um, I speak for all of our elders when I say this. We love you. We care about you. Make your needs known to us and to one another. Um, and we hope to gather again soon and worship God together as the people of Sojourn Montrose.